In this video, we're going to talk about how to take better care of yourself as a woman. And I'm going to share with you 15 self-care ideas that will help you prioritize yourself. Hi, I'm Simone, certified life coach and author of the book 111 Ways to Simplify Your Life. I upload educational videos on personal development. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified when I upload a new video. Now, before we get into my 15 self-care ideas for women, I want to share with you my long and not so glamorous journey towards taking better care of myself. Growing up, I needed to take care of everyone else around me and make sure that they were happy first. That led to severe disconnection from my body and the inability to take care of my own emotional needs. I was constantly people-pleasing and putting other people's needs before my own. Only after starting to take better care of myself, I was able to fully help others. Self-care is a bit of an overused term lately, but the truth is that you can't pour from an empty cup. We as women are nurturers by heart, and it's very important that we learn to draw the line, respect ourselves enough to walk away from things that no longer serve us, and realize the ultimate truth. No one is coming to save us, so we better save ourselves. Now, to simplify this video, I'm going to break it down into three sections. Taking care of yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually. So let's start with the first one. Here are my nine self-care ideas for taking care of yourself physically. The first one is to nourish your body. I'm getting the most obvious one out of the way first. We all know that we need to take better care of our bodies, but there are lots of excuses and bad habits that we're used to. So here are some suggestions on how to start small when it comes to nourishing your body. My first suggestion is to keep a water bottle on your desk while you're working. Staying hydrated is one of the greatest acts of self-care you can ever do for yourself. But I know that we're all busy working or running around doing errands, so make sure to have a water bottle on your desk or if you're out and about, take one with you. The second thing you can do to make sure you're nourishing your body is to eat less sugar. I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor, so I'm not gonna give you any advice when it comes to healthy eating. But in my personal experience, if you wanna take better care of yourself, cutting off sugar is a good start. You don't have to stop eating things that have sugar in them for good, or look at the ingredients of every food you eat, although that's a pretty good idea, even 20-50% less sugar will make a dramatic difference to the way you feel and the way your brain works. You will experience less fatigue and you will have more mental clarity to focus on the things that truly matter. And the third thing you can do to nourish your body is to sleep. Taking good care of yourself starts with the basic boring stuff, such as making sure you get more than 6, ideally 7-8 hours of sleep every night. If you're an insomniac or you struggle with falling and staying asleep due to nightmares, make sure to listen to episodes 29 and 116 from the Simplify Your Life podcast. I'll leave links to both of them below. Now, what is the next area of focus when it comes to taking care of yourself physically? Move your body. After we've nourished our bodies, it's time to shake them up a bit. I have three self-care ideas when it comes to moving your body. Let's start with the first one. Try out yoga. There are numerous videos on YouTube on how to do yoga and I have found some pretty helpful ones that actually got me excited about creating a routine every single morning. Yoga stretches and exercises can be so helpful not only for improving your physical health but also for unblocking pent-up emotions as well. Try it out for yourself for a few days and let me know how it goes. The second idea I have when it comes to moving your body is to dance to uplifting music. This one won't take you long at all, and the rush of endorphins and positive emotions will make it worth your time. So pick up a favorite song or try out a happy playlist from Spotify and dance it out. And my third suggestion when it comes to moving your body is to exercise. I had huge resistance when it came to this one, so I made a small commitment. Every day, I would do any type of exercise I felt like doing for just 5 minutes. The idea was to stay consistent with it. So that's my quick little hack for you if you're not into exercising. Spice things up by trying out different things every day and do them only for a few minutes so you don't get overwhelmed. Now let's get into the third self-care area when it comes to taking better care of yourself physically. Embrace your body. Now I have three self-care ideas when it comes to embracing your body as well. The first one is to take care of your skin. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. So it's important to know how to properly take care of it. If I had to give you three quick tips when it comes to taking better care of your skin, they would be the following. The first one, wash your face and take a shower daily and never sleep with your makeup on. 
as it will clog your pores and lead to breakouts. The second one. Stick to a simple skincare routine with products that have clean ingredients and less toxins. I recommend starting with a cleanser, serum and moisturizer. And last, but definitely not least, exfoliate regularly. Get rid of the dead skin on your face and your body. My personal choice is having a chemical exfoliant for your face as it is less abrasive. Now, my second self-care idea for embracing your body is to learn to love your imperfections. It took me quite a while to learn how to love myself and accept myself for exactly who I am. But this beautiful body that you're in is the only one you will ever have. So you better learn how to embrace it and understand that you're enough as you are. You don't need to do anything, achieve anything or be anyone other than you. All you have to do is remember who you were before everyone else told you who you should be. If you want to work on accepting yourself for exactly who you are and try out some helpful self-love journaling prompts, Make sure to watch my video on how to practice self-love, where I share with you 15 questions that will change the way you see yourself. I will leave a link below. And my last suggestion when it comes to embracing your body is to have more sensory experiences. What do I mean by this? Sensory experiences can range from hugging yourself to cuddling with a warm blanket, getting a massage, or putting on some body lotion while lighting up a candle. The possibilities are endless with this one, so have fun with it. Experiment and find out what type of sensations you enjoy the most. Your body needs nourishment, movement and touch. So make sure to think of some things that will help you feel even more connected and grounded in your body. We've already explored 9 self-care ideas to take better care of yourself physically. So let's get into the next one. Taking care of yourself mentally. I have 3 self-care ideas when it comes to taking care of yourself mentally. The first one is to brain dump everything that's on your mind. Brain dumping is as simple as it sounds. All you need is a pen and a piece of paper. Start writing down everything that's cluttering your mind for 5 minutes. You can set a timer on your phone or simply write down until you feel relieved. Actually, Julia Cameron has a process called morning pages that goes like this. Every morning you wake up, sit on your desk and write down 3 pages of pure stream of consciousness without editing, thinking or censoring yourself. The purpose of morning pages is to get all the junk out so you have mental clarity to take on the rest of the day. Which actually leads me to my second self-care idea when it comes to taking care of yourself mentally. Write down three things that you're grateful for. Taking care of your mind is directly linked to what you feed it with on a regular basis. If you're watching too much TV or filling your mind with endless drama from scrolling social media or the news, your mind will be overloaded with unnecessary information and you will probably live in a constant state of fear and despair. And we don't want that. So one small act of self-care is to write down every day three things that you're grateful for. They don't have to be these huge, life-changing, profound things. It could be gratitude for that gorgeous cup of coffee or tea you drank in the morning, or the funny thing your pet did 10 minutes ago that made you laugh out loud. The reason I'm recommending practicing gratitude in the evening is because it will help you reprogram your subconscious mind to focus on feeling good, being grateful and open to new possibilities. Now, what is the next self-care idea when it comes to taking care of yourself mentally? Spend less time online and more time offline. Ladies, let's be real here. We've all been guilty of the scroll. The never-ending, time-consuming and frankly exhausting negative loop. Our devices and social media in general have been designed to give us small doses of dopamine hits every time we see something new. Don't give your power away like that. Take control of your media consumption. You can consciously choose to delete your social media profiles or if you don't want to go to that extreme, which I completely understand, at least delete the apps from your phone or log out from your accounts. Use that time to read, talk to your friends or go for a walk. The more time you spend disconnected from the world, the more connected you will be with your inner world. And that is such an important and overlooked aspect of self-care. Get to know yourself better. Find out what you dislike or like. Pick up a new hobby. Be open to all the discoveries that are gonna happen when you spend less time online and more time creating a life you won't need an escape from. Now, so far, we have explored 12 self-care ideas when it comes to taking care of yourself physically and mentally. So, let's get into the last category, which is probably my favorite one. Taking care of yourself spiritually. For me personally, spirituality is all about recognizing that while we need to care about our own individual well-being, 
It's important to remember that we're all connected and we're all part of something so much bigger than ourselves. Now let's get into the first self-care idea when it comes to taking care of yourself spiritually. Meditate. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you probably saw that one coming. I've been meditating daily for a few years and I have found that there is nothing else that helps me more when it comes to grounding myself into the present moment. Meditation doesn't have to be complicated. You can simply start by closing your eyes, taking a few deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and observing your breath for a few minutes. If you're new to meditation, don't worry, I've got you. I've made a free YouTube playlist with guided meditations, mindfulness exercises and grounding techniques all into one. Just click the link in the description box below to get started. And if you're curious to learn about my experience after meditating for 1000 days straight, listen to episode 55 from the Simplify Your Life podcast. I will leave a link to it as well. Now the second self-care tip I have for you when it comes to taking better care of yourself spiritually is to do something kind for someone else without expecting anything in return. There is an interesting shift that happens in us when we actually realize that self-care is not only about taking good care of ourselves, it's also about connecting authentically and lovingly with others. Here are some suggestions to get you started. You can call someone you love that you haven't heard from in a while. You can gift a handmade present to your partner or you can donate some clothes to a charity that you believe in. Now the next self-care idea I have for you when it comes to taking better care of yourself spiritually is to reflect on the meaning of life and your place in this world. This may sound a bit morbid if you're currently in a rut, but I want you to stay for a second with all the uncomfortable feelings and ask yourself one simple question. Who am I? I want you to truly take your time with this question. You can meditate or journal on it. Just keep digging until you realize that you are so much more than your physical body, your thoughts, your clothes, and all your material possessions. You are the pure consciousness behind that all. You are the silent observer. You are so much more than you give yourself credit for. And most importantly, you are already enough. Self-care is a choice. It's a conscious choice that you won't feel like making every single day. Maybe you will fall back into old routines, and that's okay. What matters is this. You now know what it feels like to put yourself first, to choose yourself, to take care of yourself for a change. That is exactly why I created the Self-Love Toolkit. You will get my tried and true self-love journal, 365 days of self-care, self-compassion exercises, and amazing bonuses that you won't be able to find anywhere else. You have all the tools you could possibly need inside, and I know that you're gonna love it as much as I loved creating it for you. So if you wanna learn more, head over to www.theselflovetoolkit.com So far in this video, we talked about how to take better care of yourself as a woman. And I shared with you 15 self-care ideas that actually work. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because in the next video, we're going to talk about how to practice self-compassion. And I will share with you the best self-compassion exercises I know. In the meantime, make sure to check out these two videos next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.